Steve with Laser Tech, and today we're going to talk about the conductor clearance app. We're essentially going to measure the height of this conductor wire over the parking lot here. That may need to be cataloged so they know what kind of equipment they can move through this area, that kind of thing. So first off, I'll connect to the laser, tap connect, and we'll get a green light there for the laser connection. We can connect to GPS and record that information too if we choose overlay that data on Google Earth or into a GIS program. So I'll start a project, choose feeder meters, instrument height, and I can put in a note. So I get to my, my record list, I just tap the plus button at the bottom, choose conductor height, and the first one we'll, we'll use here is the height routine. I'll select height routine, I'll put the laser into height mode, and this routine can be used when you know where your base angle is. There's a point there, maybe you've set a mark, you've, you've located a point there you can aim to. So that's critical. I'll take my distance up to the conductor and I'm shooting right to the low point of the wire here. I'll take my angle to the base and then my angle back up top at the wire. And that height value is fed through into the data collector. So I can record that value, I can take a picture of it, I can store another note for it, etc. Let's go through the different scenarios here then. What if I can't see that spot there at the bottom to aim to? I don't really know where it is. The first is I can assume that it's flat from where I'm standing to underneath the conductor. So all I have to do is take my instrument height and add in the vertical distance that I shoot to the wire, and that's my value. So let's choose that vertical distance plus instrument height. I've got my instrument height recorded. Now I just shoot the wire. The value comes through and my conductor height's calculated. So now let's say it's not flat between here and there. There's a slope on the parking lot here, probably for drainage. I can go back to conductor height and choose vertical distance to conductor plus vertical distance to ground. I'm assuming the ground underneath the wire is flat. So I'll just make that selection. The diagram tells me to shoot to the wire and then shoot to that spot on the ground underneath the wire and get the shot. Even if you're off a little bit, that vertical distance should be roughly the same. Now let's say all bets are off. The technique we use is called find horizontal distance. So I'll select conductor head again and choose horizontal distance. And now I shoot to the conductor and I'm gonna record that horizontal distance. It's capturing the vertical distance as well, of course, but it's gonna display the horizontal distance there. Now we know that a point directly underneath that wire is gonna have the same horizontal distance, right? It's gonna be the same distance away. So now I just aim to the, to the ground underneath the wire and then my height's recorded automatically, that base angle set. So I can just store that value. And that's the conductor height routine. We've gone through all the scenarios. That find horizontal distance routine will get you, get you the answer every time.